I think we're recording. Yes. Dang it, I got stuck. So the other day, an old client of mine reached out to me and they wanted me to call or grade these podcast episode, right? They were filmed in raw and well, actually not raw, but log. And then it was three different scenes and it was like over an hour. So like 120 maybe. And I was like, I mean, sure. Why not? Right. Now, the thing is that when I went ahead and pressed render after everything was done, the rendering time for that showed, I think it was close to like two or three hours for each clip. And it was just a simple grade, but it was pretty long. Now I was like, there's no way I cannot charge for six hours of render. Cause you know, if you're, if you have to render something for six hours, you should be including that in your price if you ever work with clients, right? Cause you cannot do anything else. You cannot use your system in that hour. So it counts as resources. Even though you might not charge like the full hour of work, just add that in your calculation when you're working on something. All right. Anyways, now I found a way to reduce that time to like 13, 15 minutes, and it was pretty easy in DaVinci Resolve. When you go to render, there's the video, there's the audio, and then there's the file section. If you go to file in your rendering section, it says there your current disk space. And then next to it, it says your disk space after rendering. Now, as I check the space on my disk, I realized that my disk was full. Like not full, but it was like, it only had like 50 gigabytes of space that was available. And it was in red, right? And because I'm on Windows, I'm not sure how it works in Mac. So if you ever run into the issue of your renders taking too long, this might be something worth looking into. So if you have run into this issue or if you are running into this issue, check your disk space and maybe delete some old stuff, put some of the old projects you're not working on actively on an external drive. That way your actual disk has more space available. Now, I'm not sure how, I think it might have to do with like the fuller your drive is, the less memory has to handle the actual process, right? It's not actually about your system specs as mu that much, but yeah. So that is the video. I, it's just a little quick chit chat of something that I think will be really useful for you if you're starting out or if you're planning to work on client projects. So yeah, that is it for this video. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.